Con uh, with Daniel and Jason from the 405th. And you got uh, Reach-inspired costume I'm seeing here. So when did you start working on this? Uh, about a month and a half ago. Originally, I was building it for the Penny Arcade Expo up in Seattle. And then I found out that you guys were going to Comic-Con. And I was like, well, might as you well. Got to get it done. Got to get it done. So it's being held together with a lot of duct tape, hot glue, and hopes and dreams. It's been a uh, big learning process. It really helps. There's a lot of great guys in there like uh, Adam and... Dave, that just kind of they, they make these great amazing things, but they always say, "Hey, you know, we can do it. You can too." So, how long did this take to make? This long, it took about about two months, basically. And did you work on this alone? You got a team of guys, or just kind of? I had five guys, four helping me out. And what is the suit made out of? It's like basically a paper mache, paper cura. So we basically we make the form out of paper. Then we use fiberglass resin, automotive fiberglass resin, to make it harder. Then we use Bondo body, um, body filler, basically to fill it in, make it more clean, smooth. That's it. What advice would you give to somebody who's kind of out there, big fan of Halo, kind of wants to get into this thing, is maybe overwhelmed by the thought of it? What would be your advice to them to kind of give them that nudge into designing costumes like this? A lot of patience. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of patience. Um, just go on the 405th. Become a member, ask around, and they'll, they'll, they'll help you. They'll point you in the right direction. So anybody could do this. I mean, it's, it's really easy.